What's up guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another GTA 5 live stream here on my channel. So today we have some new content to show off because earlier the Karen Technical Custom, a new vehicle, was added into GTA Online. Of course it's available on all platforms, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and the PC. Today as you can see, we're playing on the PC, and we're going to be buying and upgrading the new technical custom, which is going to cost around about $3 million or so in total. And I'll be going through the entire pricings and various features, secrets, and things like that throughout this entire live stream. But hello to everybody who's just tuned in right now. Hope you guys are doing well. If you guys could drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated. Let's try and smash a 1,000 likes on this live stream. And with that being said, let's get straight into things. So... First of all then, the Karen Technical is not technically a new vehicle in the game, so I'm sure you guys know. It's been in the game since about 2014, 2015, uh, with the Heist update. Um, so let's go ahead and buy that. You can of course find that on the Warstock Cash and Carry website. I don't think it's discounted right now. No, it's not. I think it was last week or the week before. Um, but yeah, you can buy it. Here, we, here it is, the, the technical. Uh, they have two options. If you complete the Heist, it will cost you $950,000. I haven't actually done that. But you can buy it for a one-off price if you haven't done it like myself uh, for $1,263,500, which is a lot of money. And personally, for this standard version of the technical, it's not really worth buying. And you guys may or may not agree with that, but it's not really worth the money in my opinion. But this new version is very, very special indeed. So let's try and sort of go through all the stuff first before we make any judgment on that one. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't bought one of those already, make sure you do so you can then proceed to get the custom version. Now, I've already bought one. I bought one earlier today. Um, so what I can simply do now is go onto my phone, go to my contacts, and go to Pegasus and simply call it in. Now, of course, this isn't a vehicle um, you can store in your garage, the Karen Technical. So you have to call a Pegasus and uh, then request it and have it called in. I'm not too sure if the custom version is storable or not though. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that one just yet. So if anyone knows, of course, let me know in the chat right now. Uh, maybe when you upgrade it, you get the option to store it in there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, so where is my technical right now? Where, where has it been called into? I didn't see the location on the map. Is that it there? Is that my, is that my technical? Is that someone else's car? Oh, that is my technical. It looks like the insurgent. So... I thought it was maybe a different uh, a different icon on the map, but no, there it is, just down here. Hopefully it's going to be there when I fly down. Oh, oh, it's been returned because there's too many P uh, players in the area by the looks of things. Let me just land. Oh, let's uh, get all these phone calls right now. Oh, no! <laughs> Give me a few seconds, guys. When we respawn back in, we'll try and uh, and call one in. I saw someone in the chat said, uh, Zildo says, after you upgrade. I'm guessing that's the ability to store it in your garage, but we'll see. Okay, so contacts, Pegasus, hopefully this time we can call it in and it won't despawn, but we'll see. Hello, Pegasus right, there we go. Technical. A few guys in the chat saying that yes, you can store it in your garage once you've upgraded it. Okay, so my theory was right, you can. Uh, but obviously we've got to upgrade it first. So where is it? Where did it spawn in at? Is it just down the road? It is. Supposedly it's down the road, but there's so many players in this area, it might despawn again. It's one of the most annoying things with uh, Pegasus. Fingers crossed though. It'll work. If it doesn't, we'll just drive away and we'll go to a different location when there's less players. Go very slowly. Come on, please, 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 please spawn in. Please spawn in. There it is. Nice. I thought Roxanne was going to troll us for this entire stream. Right, so now that I've got my Karen technical, we can now proceed to upgrade it. And of course, to do that, we need to get ourselves the mobile operation center. So, let me uh, just go on to the interactive menu. Request mobile operation center. There we go. And hopefully now in about 10 seconds or so, it'll spawn in. At a nearby alley. Now, of course, we could use the uh, the instant spawn glitch, but uh, there's so many players around me right now. I just want to get on with things rather than uh, than try it. Okay, it's been spawned in, and it's over by there. That's not too far away. Let's go over there right now. We'll we'll go straight on and take a right. Can you please move out of my way? Oh, this guy's got the fully upgraded one already. I can't see who that is. Oh, Zildozer. He's already upgraded his uh, technical to the technical custom. It looks pretty awesome as well. He's got the uh, like barrier. Brigade thing on the front, whatever it's called. The, uh, like, battering ram. And all the armor as well. Let's take a right by here. Uh, a few guys in the chat asking, can you get the insurgent pickup truck? Uh, no, that hasn't been added to the game, unfortunately, the uh, custom variant. Uh, it's only the custom version of the technical one, which I have right now. 
which is available from today. Okay, so once you've bought this car then from the Warsaw Car and Carry website for just over a million dollars or so, then take it down to your mobile operation center and finally, you'll be able to take it inside. So let's go ahead and modify this vehicle. And once inside, we'll now have the option to upgrade it and apply all the upgrades, which uh, this vehicle of course was uh, leaked to have. Right, so upgrade. It will cost $142,500 to upgrade to the technical custom. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, done. And straight away, we've already got some uh, some additions to this. So I think, I think we've, uh, did we get the bumper? It's a different bumper, right? We also have this like roll cage around it as well. We have some uh, some like metal mesh on the, uh, the different windows as well. Can I go around to the back? No, I cannot. So what we'll do is we'll go into first person. There we go. So yeah, we have the, the metal all over the other uh, windows. Oh, front, sides, and back. I'm not too sure if that offers any protection. Uh, but yeah, that's what you get when you first upgrade it. So that's not too bad, I guess. Kind of works in a very similar way to Benny's, where you get a few basic upgrades, uh, but not really a huge amount. But of course, that now unlocks a load more upgrades for this vehicle. Now, of course, with this being a Pegasus vehicle initially, it wasn't a vehicle that you could uh, customize, but now we can customize this custom version. So, let's first of all upgrade the armor, which by the looks of things is discounted right now. It is, yes. I'm going to guess 25%. So, let's go ahead and put 100% uh, armor on this thing. Uh, armored plating. Okay, so we have the option to remove the current armored plating. That removes the, the roll gauge. So that means, oh, maybe the, the front ball bar, which I said that might have been new, obviously isn't new then. Uh, it's been a while since I last used the custom, so apologies if I got that wrong. Um, so yeah, we can remove the armor plating. I'm not too sure if there's any like, changes in the terms of the amount of armor that even gives you. It doesn't look like any of these are changed, but I don't know, it might give you a slight, a slight bit more with the light chassis armor. Uh, we can then go for the medium chassis armor, which is pretty cheap actually, $1,350 to upgrade that, and it's not discounted either. Um, and that is an item that's unlocked via research in the bunker, which I have obviously done already then. Uh, there's also an additional upgrade, the heavy chassis uh, armor, but I haven't unlocked this by the looks of things. This armor can be unlocked for purchase via research in the bunker property. Now, I've got two more bits of research to do for this vehicle. I've done some already. Uh, we've got a few more to do in this live stream, but they'll only take like five minutes to do, so it's okay. What we'll do is we'll fast track the research. We haven't got to wait around. Um, but uh, hello, by the way, to Galaxy in the chats. What's up? It's been a while. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get the medium chassis armor. It looks pretty cool. Obviously, it's, uh, I don't know if it actually adds any extra armor protection. I wish there was like a category in here which would show us like how much armor this, this gives us, like an extra section. But unfortunately, it doesn't. It doesn't affect any of the performance though by the looks of things, so it might not do that much. Uh, but maybe later on, we'll do like a little test to see the difference between uh, the various different armors. So, let's go into first person again and just see what this thing looks like. There we go. That's pretty cool. I don't think though it's going to really offer that much. I'm pretty sure you'll still be able to get shot even with this armor. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Kind of cool though. I like that one. Uh, we can't see the, yeah, we can't see the heavy chassis one at the moment. And I, I'm pretty sure it adds the armored plating on the windows. It's like small, um, like glass slits or whatever. But yeah, we can upgrade that later on. We'll go and do the research. We can get that. Um, but we'll just use the medium chassis armor for now. Uh, moving on then, up next is brakes, which are not discounted, but it's okay. 35,000. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the technicals brakes are not very good, so we definitely want those. Um, engine upgrades, of course, let's do that. So this thing is as powerful as possible. Then onto grill. Okay, so these are basically the bull bars and uh, ram bars. Um, so this is the stock one we have. We can add the lower bull bar, which has this uh, section down here. That's kind of cool looking. I like that one. Although it's kind of a different in a way, kind of different design to the uh, the top one. It's thicker as well, like much, much, much thicker. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, we've got the reinforced bar. That's kind of cool as well. Uh, these are all very, very cheap as well. I thought they're going to be a lot more, to be honest. They're usually, like, the upgrades are usually very, very expensive. Um, but no, these aren't that expensive. But I guess we paid the upgrade cost as well. But even so, I'm still very, very surprised. Um, heavy duty bar, which basically just adds that lower section from the lower bull bar onto the reinforced one. That's cool as well. We have unlocked the ram bar. That's one upgrade we also have to do via research in the bunker, but we'll do that later on. Like I said, we'll do that via research. It won't take very long. And then the final one, the brute bar, which adds this like snow plow looking thing on the front, a bit like on the Phantom Wedge. Um, that's cool as well. And look at the, the cost. 
3,200. Like, in real life, if you went to, like, a garage and said, I want a massive ball bar like this up front, they'd probably charge you a lot more than that just to make it. So, ooh, maybe this time around, uh, Rockstar's being a little bit cheap. Or am I not reading this right? Am I missing, like, a zero? <laughs> maybe Rockstar's forgot to put that extra zero on the end? Who knows? But there we go. Let's go ahead and fit that one for now. And like I said, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the grand bar later on once I've upgraded that or unlocked it via research. Loads of you guys in the chat right now asking why I'm not responding to comments. I will later on, so I want to uh, like customize this car, then we'll go through questions and various ideas you guys have. But don't, don't worry, I'm not like ignoring you. I am a little bit, but yeah, later on I won't. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next category. Horns, okay, I think this one already has like a truck horn from standard. Oh no, it doesn't. It's actually a really bad horn. So let's get a truck horn then. $2,000, that's not too much. Um, lights, let's go ahead and upgrade those as well to Xenons, so they're slightly brighter. I'm not going to put a neon kit on for now because we might change um, the the car. I've just realized as well, when you upgrade this car, it also gets a livery from standard. <laughs> I've only just noticed how, how bad of me. Um, but yeah, it's got kind of a cool, like, I guess you could say it's the uh, like cow cow livery. <laughs> it looks like a cow, right? Obviously, the, uh, the technical standard is white when you call it in from Pegasus. And it has obviously these like black patches as well. And yeah, that's cool. Uh, I don't think there's any option to remove the rust, by the way, if you guys are wondering, uh, from the chrome on these various panels, unfortunately. Uh, but maybe in the future, Rockstar will have like a new version of this where we can do that. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, uh, livery is up next. We're probably going to come back to this one. We'll look at them anyway, but we'll come back to this and officially choose one once we've chosen what color we're going to go for on the... Uh, the technical. What do you guys think though? If you guys have any suggestions, of course, let me know in the chat. Uh, this like applies to all the customizations, by the way. If you guys see anything that you prefer instead of what I've chosen, just spam the chat and I'll go back and change that. Uh, for now though, we can either remove the livery to this none option, which is kind of cool. If you guys saw the thumbnail, the thing you clicked on to get onto this live stream, uh, I had a desert tan one in that thumbnail uh, because I customized the car in story mode via mods uh, so I could get the thumbnail. And uh, that looks pretty cool. So I might go for that look. Uh, bearing in mind, we can apparently get numerous carry and technical customs because once you upgrade the car, it's no longer a Pegasus vehicle. It becomes a vehicle you can store in your garage, apparently. Um, so that is an option we have. We can obviously go for like a, a no livery look and we can also go for a livery look if we wanted to have like two or three of these. We'll see though. We'll come back to that depending on what color we choose. Again, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, just let me know in the chat. Just spam it. And uh, we'll go from there. I can see a few people saying, try a dark green or um, a desert tan. But yeah, we'll see about that later on. Okay, so that's the basic camo then. This like cow look. Uh, the Zancudo camo. Um, it's alright. I guess because we have white on it at the moment, it doesn't look all that special. Um, and we have the sprayed camo. Oh, yeah. A donation just came in from Galaxy RCB who I said... It's been a while. Smiley face. Missed ya. And no need for Galaxy hype level. Well, thank you so much for that, Galaxy, and I know it has been a while. I've been so busy, and I can only apologize. But yes, I'm back. I'm finally home from the various different trips I've been on. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that uh, later on. But thank you so much, and we're going to go for a hashtag Galaxy in the chat to show off our appreciation for that one. So thank you so much. And guys, right now, spam the chat, hashtag Galaxy uh, for that donation. Thank you so much. Okay, then, back into the customizations. So, spray camo, it's kind of like low res. Is that just me? It looks so low resolution. Uh, we've got the three color outline. Uh, I haven't actually seen all of these uh, these camos yet. I've only just unlocked most of them today uh, because I did loads and loads of research before this live stream so I can unlock everything and get all the upgrades for this uh, this technical custom. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of any of these so far. I guess if we change the primary color to something else. Whoa! What has happened? Why did we get kicked out of the... Uh... Wait, what? What happened? Did someone just destroy? Oh, no. <laughs> Someone just destroyed my mobile operation sensor. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> no way. Okay, we're going to have to call another one in. Thanks, guys. That's appreciated. Request mobile operation sensor. What happened to my carry technical then? Did that just get removed? Oh, my God. We were halfway through customizing it as well. Guys, if you're in the game right now, please don't do that. It's, that's so annoying. I thought the... Uh, how had the vehicle disabled so no one could drive it? How did someone manage to do that? How did the disable so no one could drive it, but they still somehow put it in water? Did they pick it up with the, the cargo bob? You're through to your garage. That's annoying. Uh, need me to bring you a ride? Where is my... Where is my technical? It's not in any of those. Oh, technical custom, there we go. I'll bring it by. 
Alright, thank you. Oh my god, that's so, so annoying. Uh, if that happens again, I will have to go into an invite-only session. I want to try and get some of you guys in. That's why we're in an open lobby right now. Um, but if you're going to do that, we're going to have to go back into an invite-only. That's so annoying. Oh my god. Alright, the technical has spawned in just down the road. I can see you guys right now in the chat. Like, lol. Rip. I know, that is so annoying. At least we haven't lost any of the upgrades on this car. I was kind of afraid that was going to happen as well. Uh, okay, right, where is the mobile operations center? It's down there. Down by the beach. Okay. It won't take us too long to go. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. I want to try and upgrade this car and go down there. I don't want to want to level or anything like that. There we go. Alright. 0.5 miles away. I just can't believe that happened. I don't know why I didn't expect it to happen. I, maybe I was like just, just too trusting of everybody in the lobby. Guys, please don't. <laughs> That's so, so annoying. Let me quickly just change vehicles to... Uh, oh, vehicle access, no one. There we go. No one can get in the vehicles now. Um, if they try and do that again. Oops. Got him. Whoa, I just fell off. Is it because I changed it to uh, no one? Possibly. I have no idea. Shut up, by the way, too. Too much in the chat. Who dropped the like on the stream. Thank you so much for that. That's appreciated. Alright, hopefully now, because I said it's a vehicle access of, of like no one. No one can drive the mobile operation center. That's what I'm hoping. But I'm guessing they just use a cargo bomber to pick it up. Alright, let's go inside. Fingers crossed that's okay. Alright, let's go in. Right, let's continue on then. Back to liveries. I think we're about halfway or so uh, down the list. Down to about winter camo. Um, okay, so we got the like, zebra one. Um, that's kind of cool. Naval battle. Uh, urban geometric. That's kind of nice as well. We might go for like a, an army look to begin with. Obviously my character's wearing um, uniforms. Maybe something like this. The, the KOD one might be kind of cool. Uh, large ge uh, geometric. Uh, naval desert. Yeah, obviously we have white as the primary color, which is obviously ruining this, uh, this livery, or all the liveries. So we can always remove that. For now, though, we'll leave it as, like, standard, and we'll come back to that once we've changed the, uh, the paint job. But again, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, uh, for paint jobs, let me know. Let's put our custom plate on, the chaotic one, which is off-centered, as you guys can see. It's so annoying. So, so annoying. <laughs> it's, like, to the left. Oh, well. Uh, let's move on. Proximity mines. Yes, let's put some of those on the technical. For the first time, I've unlocked this upgrade, so one of my vehicles will have proximity mines, um, on it. So there we go. We've got some of those on the technical custom. Come back to respray in a few moments. Let's do all the other things first. Suspension. Uh, that like lowers like by such a little amount. Maybe like a centimeter. It's so small. Uh, I want to have it taller if anything, not lower. So we won't change that. Transmission. 50,000. Let's do it. Let's upgrade this thing to the, the super transmission. Turbo, let's fit that as well. This thing's got to be fast as fudge. Let's do that. Weapons. Okay. So we can change the, uh, the turrets from the machine gun to the uh, 7.62 uh, mil machine gun. I'm not really too sure what difference that really makes. I'm guessing it's just got a, a higher power rate or a higher or faster firing rate. Um, it looks smaller, but I'm guessing it's better. It is 100,000. It's the most expensive upgrade, uh, apart from the actual main upgrade for this car, uh, to get it to the custom variant that's available. So we'll fit that one and we'll give it a try later on. Well, to go back to the basic version, it's going to cost 55,000. So it's only like twice as good then in like cost terms, but we'll see. Uh, wheels and windows. We'll change the window tints to... Should we go to black? Let's do it. Black. And then wheels. Whoa! Why is... <laughs> why is my technical moving? That's weird. Maybe someone's driving the mobile operations center or crashing it. Who knows? Let's quickly upgrade this thing before someone decides to uh, put this thing in the water again. Um, let's go for a set of off-road wheels. They're currently rusty, so let's put a nice set on. What's a nice set of off-road wheels, guys? It's been so long since the last put a... An off-road set on, on a vehicle. Maybe the Nevis? I, can't, I quite like those, the, the Nevis ones. Sweet. Oh, sweet, the guy said. Okay, let's go for a set of those. We'll put uh, some black alloys on and make sure that we have... We don't want custom tires. We want bulletproof tires. Oh, it's already fitted from standard. That's good. So this has it from standard when you upgrade it by the looks of things. We'll put... What color tire smoke on? Oh, maybe we won't do the tire smoke just yet. We'll come back to that later on if we are going to put any that is. Uh, let's go back then to respray. We haven't done that just yet. What color are we going to go for, guys? I sent a few suggestions for uh, desert tan and things like that, so maybe we will. Maybe a matte desert tan. That's kind of nice. Or we can, of course, go for dark earth or uh, an olive. We've got uh, foliage green, forest green, uh, green itself. 
Green is quite nice. It all depends on what, what sort of look we want to go for. I'm thinking Desert Tan. Then we're going to go back to Livery. And go for something more army-ish. Um, not the digital ones. They aren't too special. Uh, urban, Desert, Naval, Large, Geometric. The KOT one. That's what I said that was pretty good. And that matches my uniform. So, yeah, we're going to go for that one then. We're going to go for the Chaotic. Oh, uh, Chaotic? Chaotic. This There's me getting confused. Um, KOT, uh, Geometric. I'll match my uniform that I'm wearing right now. I know the rims, the color of the rims doesn't match that, so let's go back to rims and change the wheel color to like a similar sort of color. Maybe we can always go for like a, a black steel. We'll try something as similar as possible to what we have on the, uh, the, uh, the livery right now. So let's scroll down. Is there, oh there we go, straw brown. That's fairly similar, right? That's probably the closest we're gonna get. Yeah, we'll go for a, a straw brown then on the, on the wheels. And I think that's pretty much it. The only thing right now that I'm not really liking is the window tint. Let's try a none. Yeah, okay, we're gonna remove the window tint. We're gonna go for no window tint at all. Okay then. So that is the full customization then of our first Karen technical. So let's exit the vehicle and just walk around it whilst we're in safety. I think everyone's just left the lobby. No, just loads of people got um, like lagged out with like some things. Uh, but yeah, there we go then. So that's our first Karen Technical. We're going to customize two in this live stream. Uh, this is our first ver uh, version because we have some more upgrades to unlock. We're going to go to our uh, bunker and unlock those before we do our next customization. But yeah, there we go. So we have the, the brown bar up front. Uh, we've gone for this uh, Coyote. Oh, uh, I was going to say Chaotic again. Uh, Coyote uh, Geometric Livery. We've gone for the, uh, the upgraded uh, turret as well. We've gone for, I think it's medium armor as opposed to heavy, because we haven't unlocked that just yet. There's nothing around the back we can do, but we can, of course, use the tow bar on the back to tow around our um, turret, our trailer turret, which I want to do later on. This thing will be so, so powerful when we do that. But yeah, there we go. It's a very cool looking vehicle. Very, very cool. But in total, we've probably spent uh, buying this vehicle initially, of course, uh, if you've already done the heist, it'll cost you just under a million. If you haven't done the heist, it's 1.2 million. I haven't done the heist, so I had to uh, spend that. That is about 150,000 or so to upgrade. And then for all the customizations, they aren't that expensive. So we've probably spent um, on the upgrades and buying it maybe around about hmm, just over 1.5, 1.6 million dollars or so. But I've already spent money as well on unlocking the upgrades. And that's where this vehicle becomes around about $3 million or so to buy and upgrade. Because you, of course, have to do the research to unlock all the upgrades for this vehicle. Well, not all. Most. Most upgrades. The minigun, the armor, and the, uh, the ram bar. There are some basic upgrades you get from when you upgrade. So you get, like, uh, medium armor instead of heavy, I think it is. And you've also got certain, like, push bars instead of the upgraded ones. Um, but you, of course, want the best ones. So we've already done some research, but I've got more research to do to unlock everything. So we're going to go back to our bunker right now whilst driving around in this thing. Go and do that research. It'll take five minutes or so. And then we can, of course, customize another one and see what that one looks like. And we can choose our favorite. Now, of course, this vehicle, as I mentioned earlier on, can be stored in your garage once you've upgraded it. Of course, the Pegasus version, the standard version, um, it is a Pegasus version. So you cannot take it into your garage. But when you upgrade it to the custom variant... It is something you can store in your garage, which is very, very nice indeed. And it's nice that Rockstar are finally allowed that, because there are so many vehicles, like the Insurgent, for example, which is really, really cool, but the fact that you can't have it in your garage, you have to call Pegasus, and most of the time you find that they can't deliver it, because as we saw earlier on, there are players in the area. Now that you can just go to your garage and just pull out a weaponized vehicle like this one, is so, so nice. It just makes them worth having. Because before, a million dollars for the technical, and you had to call Pegasus, and you could only use it for so many minutes before, you know, someone destroyed it, and it was just a nightmare, obviously. But it's, yeah, much, much better. So what are you guys thinking then? How many of you guys have bought the technical? How many of you upgraded to the technical custom? And how many of you guys have upgraded it? What, what do you guys think about it then? Do you guys like it? Is it a vehicle you guys are happy with? Are you not happy? And why is that? Just let me know in the chat right now. And of course, if you guys know any like really cool features or things you want me to share and discuss in this live stream in return for a shout out, of course, let me know in the chat right now. I'll be reading it whilst we drive down to our bunker. Very quick shout out to Charlie for dropping a like on the stream. Thank you, buddy. And commenting hashtag liked. And shout out as well to James in the chat as well, who also dropped the like and commented hashtag like in the chat. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. We're currently at about 250 likes or so. The like goal for this live stream is a thousand, so if you guys haven't dropped the like already, please do so right now. Let's try and smash that goal. 
And of course, once we do, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's try and smash some cards out of the way with this Rambar. See what it's actually like. It doesn't seem really that powerful, to be honest. Uh, there are some vehicles, like the Brocade, you can just smash into vehicles, and they're like... The speed that you're going at is hardly affected. This one, it's not obviously as bad as the standard version. It's still pushing cars out the way, but it's it's not like really powerful, as you'll find with some vehicles. We'll take a right very shortly to our underground bunker. Shout out to Vincent for dropping a like on the stream. Thank you, buddy. And shout out as well to Rapid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's appreciated. Let's take a right. All right, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Someone asked. How much will this vehicle cost to buy? Now you can't buy the technical custom on its uh, like individually. You have to buy the technical, then upgrade. But it's not that expensive, I guess. To buy the car initially, yes it is. It's a million or so. To upgrade though, it's only 142,000. So it's one of the cheapest vehicles, I guess, in game. To upgrade, much, much cheaper than most uh, Benny's vehicles at least. A lot of those cost upwards of uh, a mil. There we go. Let's go inside the underground bunker. And go and uh, do some of that research then. Look at how cool this thing looks. I love that, like, push bar up front. It's so nice that Rockstar, with this update, um, obviously have added Pegasus vehicles and upgrades uh, for them, which is uh, very nice to see. And like I said before, storing them in my garage as well is just a really nice added feature. Right, let's hop out of my car. Let's run to the laptop. Uh, we're going to fast track the research. It's going to cost 225000 each. There are four upgrades in total for the... Uh, uh, for the technical custom, I think, four or five uh, upgrades. So it will cost you around about a million or so to upgrade. I'll buy all the upgrades for it. I've already um, done two of them. So we've already fitted those to the vehicle. But there are two more to do. Let's go and quickly take a look at these. Research. Uh, so what we got? So we've got the other... Uh, what's that? Oh, another push bar. And we've also got the heavy armor. Those are two things we want, of course. So research. Uh, this one is, yes, the, the push bar by the looks of things. So let's do that. Fast track. Confirm. $225,000. And that's done. Unlocked. The ram bar. Okay. Uh, let's back out from here. And let's go back over to our technical. What we'll do is we'll buy another technical right now. So we can customize a second one. And we can try some slightly different uh, like variations and, and customizations of that. Uh, we can have as many as we want. As many as we want. Someone asks, are there only new, I need, sorry, are there only four new upgrades for this vehicle? There are four ones, are four new ones you can unlock via research. There are more customizations than that, but there are four ones to unlock via the research. Um, I think in total there's probably around about uh, like 10 or so unique customizations for this thing. Plus, of course, all the performance and like brake upgrades and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and buy a new version of this though. Let's go and buy another technical. Technical, there it is. Oh, wrong one, my bad. Can you upgrade the, uh, the technical aqua? And put all the push bars and stuff on that? That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Having uh, the, the floating option as well. Uh, where is the technical? There it is, the technical. There we go, let's buy a second one. Wait. Fail to purchase, you've already unlocked this vehicle. What does that mean? I can't have another one? Or, can I just call Pegasus... And have another one. Do I have to buy it again? Maybe I haven't got to buy it again. Now that I've already bought it. Maybe that's the case. Let's go ahead and uh, leave our garage. I'll leave the, the bunker very quickly. Just call Pegasus and see if that's the case. If that is, it means we can keep on upgrading them without buying them over and over and over again. We, we only have to pay the upgrade cost, which is 142000 If that is the case, that's cool. Zildos are in the chat, in the game chat right now, said so you don't have to buy it again. Which means, yes, by the looks of things, we can just call Pegasus... And keep upgrading it. That's cool. I like that. That's very surprising, actually. Rockstar are usually Hello, very big money horse when it comes to this sort of thing. Yeah, we can literally just call in another technical. That's awesome. Wow, so you don't have to buy it again. Goodbye. I was completely wrong. Well, that's one thing you, you may not know about the technical. Let's write that down. Let's, uh, let's make sure we remember that. Nice. That's cool. Let's go back, um, back into the underground bunker, then. So in about two minutes or so, we can go and do the final bit of research for the technical customs. We can then apply the heavy armor uh, to this vehicle as well. Then we'll go ahead and call a Pegasus, request another vehicle, and go from there. But wow, I didn't know that. That's so cool. So once you buy it from uh, the Warstock Cash and Carry website, you can keep on upgrading it, uh, you know, just by taking it down to your mobile operation center. I like that. Let's very, very quickly return the mobile operation center to storage. Because right now it's down by the pier, I think. Uh, so let's bring it back. So once we have 
the final bit of research done, we can drive straight into the back of that and apply the final few upgrades. Uh, okay, so whilst we're waiting around, uh, there's a few comments coming in. What other content is available from today? Uh, as far as I'm aware of, the new custom version of the technical is the only new thing in GTA Online today. There's new, no new game modes, uh, there's no other vehicles, no new outfits or anything like that. There are some discounts though, um, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of those. So there was a discount on armor, we saw that earlier on. On the Warstock Cash and Carry website, are there any discounts? There is, there's one discount on the Phantom Wedge. Uh, it looks to be about 25% off by the looks of things. So usually it's uh, almost 2 million to buy if you've done the... Uh, according mission, it's uh, just under uh, 1.5 otherwise, and then it's two and a half if you haven't done it, or just under two million uh, just to buy it now. Um, so there's one discounted item. What else we got? What else is discounted right now? That's oh no, the buzzard as well. The buzzard's also discounted at 25%. So if you guys haven't bought that and want to, you can do so. I wouldn't really recommend it though. You can get the buzzard for free from pretty much everywhere around the map, but it's entirely your choice. Uh, anything else? Benny's original motor books. Anything on there? Nothing by the looks of things on Benny's. Not a surprise though. Anything on the Elitis websites? Yep, so the one, uh, one discount on the Annihilator. That's also 25%. Uh, Legendary Motorsports website. Any discounts on here? Nothing I can see so far. Oh, many discounts then. It's a very, very uh, poor week, I guess. Yep, that's that's it for that website. I'm guessing the Doc T's website has got something surely. No, no discounts on the Doc T's website. Okay. Southern San Andreas, anything on there? Not that I can see initially, so I'm guessing there's nothing. Yeah, no discounts on there either. Okay, so only a few discounts then on uh, various different uh, like Warstock cash and carry uh, vehicles. Okay, the final bit of research has begun, so we can now walk over to the laptop and just go and fast track that. There's no point waiting around. We're just going to skip it. I'm going to go straight to the laptop and... Uh, sit down, there we go. Access the laptop. There we go, click, research, fast track the research, final bit, the heavy armor, and we are done. Confirm. Nice. Done. And there's no more research to do. I've now unlocked everything. I spent all day unlocking everything, paying for the fast track. It's taken a while, I spent a lot of money, but there we go, we've now unlocked everything. So. Yeah, there we go. There's, there's four upgrades then in total for the uh, technical custom. You can fast track them. It'll cost you 225,000 each, or you can also, uh, you know, just wait for the research. But it takes several hours of, you know, real life time, and that's just, you know, unnecessary in my opinion. Why not just spend the money if you've got it? Which, thankfully, I do. I have, I have the money. Or well, had the money. I've now spent pretty much all of it in game. All right, let's uh, steal this guy's car. Thanks, buddy. I right, just. No, I don't want to drive. I don't want to do that. I want, I want to take his car. Okay, maybe he's got it on passengers only. Let's uh, just call up Pegasus. I'm going to call it a new, te uh, a new technical so we can go and upgrade it in my mobile operations center. Uh, where is Pegasus? There it is. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> okay, come on. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, oh, you're through still got Pegasus shot. Lifestyle management. How can I help? All right, that's Great. probably going to get delivered to... Where is that? Is that Sandy Shores? Where is it at? Where did he go? Oh, there it is. No, it's down by the quarry. It's not too far away. Let me... I was going to steal that guy's bike, but uh, he's just taken it away from me. Thanks. Can someone drive me? If I get onto this now, hopefully you can see the waypoints. Can you take me to the location? Hopefully you can. Hopefully you can see the waypoint, even though I'm on the turret. He's doing, yeah, yeah, this guy's got the upgraded turret on the back as well. We can finally see what this thing's like. Yeah, it's got definitely a, a much better firing rate than the standard uh, technical turret. I'm guessing it's more powerful as well. Certainly faster at shooting. He's also got the heavy armor as well. That's what we're going to upgrade on this second uh, technical. Whoa! No, I've fallen off. I've fallen off. Nobody. Wait up, wait up. Let me get onto that. Let me get on. There we go. I'm back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm really, yeah, I'm really close, really, really close. Let's go and pick up my new one. So we go and customize a second version of this. Then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison if we can. A little bit further, buddy. Keep going. Don't crash. Thank you. Someone asked whether all the other cars going to be coming out. By the looks of things, we're going to be receiving one each week. Wait, where is the vehicle? Where is it? Where did my car go? 
Wait, did it just despawn? Guys? <laughs> Where did my vehicle go? Where's. I'm like, sat, sat here, like, unsure what's happened. Like, Pegasus didn't call me. Oh! There we go, now they've called me. They're most sorry because. I didn't get a refund, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to call it in again. It looks like because I had people with me, there were people in the session around me, it didn't spawn in. So annoying. Happens all the time. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. All right, I've so called. Your specialty vehicle is available for collection right now. Right now, okay. Very happy, sir. Where is it? Where did it go? It's down there this time. Okay, hopefully no one follows me, guys. Please don't follow me. For some reason, vehicles don't spawn in when the other players in the session around you. That's annoying. I've already wasted a few minutes doing that. Okay, let's go over there very, very quickly so we go pick up our second one. Oh, no, I flipped it. There we go. Someone asked what differences are there to the technical and the technical custom. Apart from the upgrades, of course, and the ability to store it in garage, I'm not entirely sure just yet. Throughout this live stream, we're going to do a few tests, testing out how much better the vehicle actually is, whether it's worth buying and stuff like that. So far, it seems pretty cool. I like the upgrades and the ability to customize it. And of course, the option to store it in our garages as well. Uh, but whether the actual upgrades themselves and the vehicle is worth having over other vehicles, I'm not so sure just yet. Um, so yeah, we'll, once we fully fully customized uh, the vehicle, we'll we'll go from there. We'll figure it out. Wait, where is it? Is it there? It's my left. There it is. My second one. It always spawns it in white. Oh, there's a guy here who's going to start shooting me. Get in, get in, get in. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go. Before we start shooting. Oh, he didn't shoot. It's okay. It's all good. Ah, nice. Hello to Bot Height in the chat right now. What's up, buddy? Just tuned in. How's it going, man? It's been a while. Someone asked, can you sell the technical custom? I believe so. I think I saw an option to sell it. Which would mean, yes, we can sell Pegasus vehicles. At last. You have to upgrade it first, and then you can sell it. But we'll see. We'll see, um what the selling price is. If that's the case, if you guys have, uh, you know, the, the vehicle and you don't want it anymore and you don't think the upgraded version is worth having, spend a little bit more, upgrade it and then sell it. We'll see if that's the case though. I might be wrong with that. But yeah, if that is the case, then uh, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, your name's just gone off the screen, so I can't uh, read it out, unfortunately, give you a shout out for that one. Just comment again and I'll, and I'll try and do that. That might be wrong though. I'm just making that up. Might just be a theory of mine, um, but we'll see. If that is correct, that could be uh, worth bearing in mind. All right, we'll be in the bunker any moments. Wait, can we take Pegasus vehicles into the bunker? We should be able to, right? Oh, no, we can't. Okay, no worries. What we'll do is we'll call in my mobile operation center and we'll just do it out here. Request mobile operation center. There we go. Wait, you can only have one vehicle in your bunker at a time. Please remove personal vehicle from the bunker to enter. Oh, that's why. Okay, there's already a vehicle in there. I have my other technical custom in there at the moment. Okay, it's just spawned in and it's just around the corner. That's going to save us a few uh, moments as well to drive away and go and find it. But yes, there it is. Okay, hopefully, guys, please don't drive it in water again. That would be appreciated. Last time it completely ruined everything. Let's go inside and upgrade it. Shout out by the way to Anthony, who just subscribed. All right, so let's upgrade $142,500. Let's do it. There we go. And very quickly, let's go and just check if there is an option to sell it. Did the vehicle just become smaller then? Or is that just me? It might be. Sell. There is an option. Oh, but you can only sell it for 85000 Okay, so the theory where you can upgrade and then sell and get most of your money back is wrong. You only get a percentage of the, uh, the like upgrade costs. That's unfortunate. That would have been so cool. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So you can sell it, but you can't get the million dollars or so back that you spent on getting it from the Warsaw Cash and Carry website. Okay. Alright then, so. Let's go ahead and upgrade this new one then. So we've upgraded, or we've unlocked all the armor so far. Which means we can uh, now, oh, sorry, all the upgrades, not the armor we're talking about. We've unlocked all the research and all the upgrades for this. Um, so let's go ahead and fit the 100% armor. I'm kind of curious. There's a guy right now, Zildozer, who's on the turret on the back of the uh, the vehicle. If I go and change the turret, what will happen? So just stay on there. I know he's watching the stream right now. Just stay there, and in a few moments when we get to the uh, the weapons option, I want to give that a try. Okay, so f uh, for the first time in this live stream, we can now check out the heavy uh, chassis armor. And there we go. 
Is that glass? It looks like glass, I think, the, the front windshield. I'm not so sure if it's bulletproof, though. We'll give it a try later on. But yeah, there we go. So we now have heavy uh, chassis armor. I'm guessing the steel plating is bulletproof, or at least bullet resistant. Um, we had the medium chassis armor on our first car. Uh, the light chassis armor, of course, is what the car comes with when you first upgrade it, or you can remove it completely, but that's kind of pointless. Um, so let's go for the chassis, the heavy chassis armor. Only $1,500. That's pretty cheap. But then again, if you spent 225000 fast-tracking the research like I did, it kind of makes sense. It'd be kind of unfair for Rockstar to charge us extortion amounts. I kind of understand now why that is, why it's so cheap uh, for that exact reason. Okay, brakes. Let's go ahead and put the best brakes on, the race brakes for 35000 Let's uh, upgrade the engine as well, so it's as fast as possible. And we can now see the ram bar for the first time. Is it the ram bar or the brute bar we didn't have unlocked? I think it was the ram bar, right? I think we had the brute bar already. I'm looking at it now. The... The car, yeah, the, the brute bar we had before is better than the ram bar. Yeah, so we might as well just go for the, the brute bar. Unless we already had it. I can't really remember. I can't remember which one we selected. But I like that one. The brute bar is really cool. So again, if you guys have just tuned in, we'll go through all the options again. Uh, so the lower bar, that's one option you can have. So it adds just this lower bar bar here and a slightly different front bumper by those things. Very, only slightly different though. Uh, we've got the reinforced bumper, the heavy duty one, adding the lower bar onto that one. Then the ram bar, which I'm pretty sure we selected first time around. Or the upgraded version, which we just unlocked. Uh, the brute bar. And that's only $3,200 as well, but we also spent the research cost to fast track, so that's why it's so cheap. Let's go for that one then, the brute bar. And I love that huge like wedge up front, that's cool. Uh, horn, I'm going to put the track horn on this one as well. Uh, lights, we're going to put a uh, xenon uh, kit on. We're going to go for a neon kit on this one. What do you guys think? Neon kit or no neon kit? Come in right now, yes or no? Neon kit or no? Uh, and we'll do that one in a few moments once we've chosen a, uh, a color. Uh, should we go for a livery on this one? The first one we customized, I put on the uh, Coyote uh, one, this one right here, and we had Desert Town as the primary color. I might go for a no livery, and then we'll go for a different paint job. Let's try that. Uh, plates, put my Chaotic plates on, and we'll go for the uh, San Andreas exempt plates. Oh, there we go, that's uh, first person. That's cool. I can't quite see. I oh, just about see Zeal does behind us. Just. I hear loads and loads of explosions right now. I think someone's blowing something up outside the uh, mobile operations center. Proximity mines, let's fit some of those. Respray, ooh, what color are we gonna go for on this one then? Any suggestions guys, what would look good right now? I don't wanna go for any livery. I wanna go for, should we go for a matte color again? Matte black, matte white, red, orange. I think that's like, kinda like army-like I think. I said like about five times in that sentence, I apologize. Uh, green, lime, lime green, dark green. That's what Zeal does have said. Green, forest green. I think green, green could be quite nice. Let's try green. Uh, we got foliage green, forest green was too. Uh, light, olive dab, oh drab, my bad. Uh, we had desert town first time around. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go for the green we've gone for. It might be slightly too light. We'll go outside, we'll drive around and see what it's like. For now, we're going to go for that one. Uh, let's move on then to the next option, suspension. There's no point in changing that. We'll leave that as it is. Transmission, let's upgrade that, which improves the acceleration very, very slightly. So, there we go. Turbo, let's fit that. Uh, weapons. Okay, so right now, Zildozer, a friend of mine, is on the, the turret. If we change that... Oh, okay, nothing happens. I thought maybe it'd glitch out. Can you see that? Can you see that as I do it? I'm guessing you can. Let's go for the uh, the minigun upgrade as well on that one. Uh, wheels. Let's do the wheels. Uh, let's go for a set of off-roads. We went Nevis first time around. Let's try a set of uh, the Amazons. I like those. Just under 5k for those. Wheel color. We'll set that to maybe uh, green as well to match our paint job. Whatever you like moves the turret. I can't do this, so please don't move a turret. Uh, green, oh, there we go. Dark green, that's the closest. It's not matte, unfortunately, it's like a, a glossy color, but it's okay, we'll go for that. The tires are already bulletproof. Should we put the custom tires on? Nah, it looks terrible. Tire smoke, we'll go for a green. Is there a dark green? I don't think so, no. 
I think green's going to be too light. It'll probably be like a lime green as opposed to a green. So we'll, we won't go for a tire smoke on this one either. And from what I saw in the chat, most people said don't go for a, uh, a neon kit. We're going to very quickly look anyway. But I'm not really feeling one on this car, to be honest. So we might leave it as it is. Uh, we're going to quickly just fit the front, back, and sides. Neon kit. Let's try a dark green if we can. Where's this lime green, mint green? Mint green would work, I guess. But no, we're not going to go for one. Let's remove the neon kit. Back to none. And I wish wasted money doing that, but I wanted to see. See what it looked like. And I think that's pretty much it for the upgrades, apart from window tints. But I don't think I'm going to uh, upgrade those. Let me just quickly look around the car if we can. I can't really see that much. Oh, we'll go for it. We went for a, a no window tint on the first one. We're going to go for one on this one. Let me very quickly go to livery, though, before we back out of this mobile operation center. And just check out the different options we have now that we have this, uh, like, green on the car. Like, the basic one it comes with, this, like, cow-looking color. It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, the Zancudo. The Spray Camo. I'm not really a fan of that one. Or that one there. Or the 90 Sandbox. Modern 5? Mm, not really. The Arid. The Winter Camo would be good if it was snowing, but obviously it's not. Uh, Urban Warrior? I'm not really liking that one. The Zebra one. Naval. Uh, Urban's not too bad either. Not really liking any of these. Maybe that, that one there, the large one. The large geometric. That's not too bad. Or the large digital. It's kind of cool as well. But I think we're going to go for a plain look that we have fitted to the vehicle right now. So there we go. Let me quickly back out of the car. Just so we can walk around it and take a look at everything we've done so far. But yeah, that's that's our customization then on this vehicle. Everyone just like left the lobby. Oh, loads of people got kicked out by those of things. So that's the full customization then of the technical custom with all the upgrades unlocked as well. Which took a while, but we finally have them all on the vehicle. So we have the brute bar up front, the heavy armor, we have the upgraded minigun. And that's uh, pretty much it, apart from all the uh, like performance and armor upgrades and stuff. You obviously can't see. But yeah, that, that's it. So what do you guys think then? What do you guys think about the technical custom? Do you guys like it? Is it for you? Have you bought one? Some people are like, you know, it's a really nice vehicle. Other people aren't so sure. I'm kind of mixed as well. It's one of those things which, it's expensive to get, but it's also cool at the same time. I think he's going to hop on the turret. If he could be very, very quick before these guys, like, blow up the uh, mobile operation center, that would be appreciated. Is there a modder in the lobby? Oh, it looks like there is a modder. Loads and loads of explosions. Not really sure what's happening. Hopefully it's not a modder. If they are, please just like avoid us for a little longer. Jobless Saints fan in the chat asks, can we go for a hashtag like spike? Certainly. I'll never say no to a like spike request. So guys, right now, drop a like on the stream. Let's try and go for a thousand likes. If you guys do drop a like, comment hashtag like in the chat as well, and I will give you guys a shout out. Uh, what we're going to do right now is drive down to the airport. We're going to do a few uh, different tests involving the technical custom. We're going to try out the bulletproof nuts, the, uh, the like, bomb proof nuts as well. Let me ask everybody in the chat right now to get themselves a technical. Um, everyone get a technical... Uh, or technical custom and go to airport. There we go. So we can go and try out some different tests. Oh, but you can't get on. Oh, it's because we removed the vehicle access. There we go. Passengers. Um, try now. Sweet. There we go. You can get on. We're going to make our way down to the airport and try some stuff out. If anybody has any suggestions, by the way, or things you want to try out, let me know um, so we can see. How good this vehicle is. Is it worth buying? Um, so as I explained earlier on when we customized the first version of this, uh, it will cost you around about one and a half to like $1.6 million or so to buy and upgrade this thing fully. But that's only once you've unlocked all the research. If you fast track all the research, uh, it will cost you just over a million or so or around about a million dollars uh, to unlock all the research if you fast track it. So you'll be spending about 2.5 uh, million dollars plus to buy, upgrade, and unlock everything. Which is a lot of money, and there are other vehicles in GT Online which are probably just as good, if not better, um, you know, for like price and what you get straight away. But we're going to just go and check out now how good this thing is against bullets and sticky bombs and stuff like that, and we'll come to a full conclusion and see whether it is better than other vehicles or not. 
Alright, so I'm probably going to be the first person there. Oops. Why am I driving into cars? We have this massive push bar up front, and I'm just like avoiding everything. Let's uh, give this thing a test. As we like saw earlier on, although it does push vehicles out of the way, and you can see the vehicle itself takes um, very little damage because of the push bar, um, it's not really that special. There are vehicles which are better at pushing cars out of the way, like the Brigade. Um, but then again, this is also a very cool vehicle, so it's it's not too bad. Shout out though to uh, Jason in the chat who dropped a like on the stream. Thank you, buddy. Shout out as well to Travis for dropping a like. We've also got Mr. Awesome in the chat who dropped a like. Uh, shout out as well to Meme for dropping a like. And shout out as well to John in the chat. Thank you, guys. That's appreciated. We are very close to 500 likes. The goal, though, is 1,000. So if you guys haven't dropped a like, please do so. Comment hashtag liked as well. I'll give you guys a shout out. If I miss like your first comment, don't worry, just keep commenting. Hashtag likes, and I will give you guys a shout out eventually. So, for example, shout out to Aaron, who just dropped a like as well, and uh, Jeremiah as well. Thank you guys, that's appreciated. All right, we are at the airport. There's one guy in the airport already. Hopefully, he's got himself the uh, the technical. Almost there. I think, uh, yeah, Zildos is going to get his, her effect. Oh my, oh my god. So bad at driving. I'm trying to like look at my second monitor and do this without even looking. What a bad idea that is. Oops. And that's why. <laughs> I crashed. Please move the stuff out of the way. Oh my god. This thing's only a two-wheel drive car. Oh no, it's, it's four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. My bad. I thought it was two-wheel drive for a second there. There we go. This guy wanted... Oh, he must be a modder. He must have teleported down here. As long as he doesn't... Oh yeah, he's, he's obviously... He's using a, uh, a random uh, NPC right now as his character. Of course he is. Just, uh, just don't, like, mess us, mess us up, please. Appreciate it, buddy. You can do whatever you want, as long as it doesn't, like, involve killing me. And I'm all good with that. Shout out to Roblox, by the way, for dropping a like in the stream. Thank you, buddy. All right, just wait for everybody to turn up. So whilst we're waiting, let's try the bulletproof test. So right now, I have the, uh, like, heavy armor upgrade. Are the windows on this thing bulletproof or not? What do you guys think? Are they going to be bulletproof or bullet resistant or just standard windows? I'm guessing the plating is bulletproof. No, it's not. The plating is not bulletproof. You can shoot straight through there, and you can see they're just standard windows on the side, at least. What about the front? That's just a standard window as well. Can you destroy it from shooting there? Okay, so that plate by there is bulletproof, but the, the glass obviously isn't. And it's not bullet resistant, it's just standard gr uh, glass. So anyone shooting you from, obviously, the front of the vehicle will be able to kill you pretty quickly. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Uh, this window... Obviously, it's the same as the other one. Oh, it's already destroyed. So that plating there, then, is not bulletproof. And obviously, neither, neither is the, uh, the glass as well. What about that plate there? That plate's bulletproof. Just not that one. Is that going to be a glitch or a bug? Or is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know. What about the plating behind here? I think that's bulletproof as well. We've already shut out the glass, but the glass back here is not bulletproof or resistant either. So yeah, there we go then. The side windows then, well, the side plating does nothing. It's just there for, you know, aesthetic purposes. It does absolutely nothing at all, which is uh, rather annoying. If there is a water in the session, I wonder if he'll repair this vehicle for me. It'll save me some time. Um, nice carrying technical, by the way, buddy. Very, very nice. Is anyone actually going to come down with their carrying technicals? Uh, everyone, come to airports with your technical custom. Or just bring down the standard technical. If you guys have a standard technical, of course, bring that down. This guy, I think, has got pretty much the same upgrades as me. Yeah, he's got the brute bar up front. He's got the uh, heavy armor as well. Let's just try his uh, his side windows. Yeah. So the the plating does nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. That's so disappointing. Absolutely nothing at all. Wow. So is it even worth upgrading then to heavy armor? Is it worth the research? Obviously it looks cool. But if it does nothing, there are better vehicles which are bulletproof or bullet resistant. Wow. I'm like really, really surprised by that. That's like disappointing and just really bad as well. For the, the cost at least. $2.5 million for a vehicle like this which isn't actually bulletproof. Wow. Alright then. What we need now is someone to have the standard minigun on the back. So we can see what the power is like. This guy has... Oh, the upgraded one as well. 
Does anyone have a... Does anyone have a technical custom with the standard turrets? Hopefully someone does. So we can check out whether one is more powerful than the other. I'm guessing the minigun, because it's got a faster firing rate, is more powerful. But also we need to test that and make sure. Okay. Uh, bring to airport, smiley face. Uh, this guy's like, he's got the insurgent. That's not really much good right now, sorry buddy. Just waiting for him to come down to the airport. This is rather annoying. Whilst we're waiting, we'll look at these guys' uh, uh, technicals. Why is he driving backwards? Please wait. He's got kind of a cool looking red uh, livery on this one as well. With red tire smoke. I'm trying to kill this guy right now. Similar upgrades to mine. Oh, he just brought down my mobile operations center. Thanks, buddy. That's appreciated. He's also got the IGN crew uh, logo on the front, I think. The emblem. There aren't really a huge number of upgrades for this thing. Uh, I think most people are going to go for the same ones. The heavy army... Uh, heavy army? The heavy armor. And uh, the, the push bar up front. Obviously, there are other ones, but most people are going to go for those. They're the coolest looking ones. The most unique looking uh, upgrades, at least. Although, they won't be very unique once everyone's fitted to them. I hear like the, the noise from the minigun, like spinning around, even though no one's on it. Is that one or this one that's moving? Neither are moving, but I can hear it. It's really weird. Right, is Bot Height going to come down with his vehicle or not? It's one coming down now. Is that Bot Height? I can't tell. He's almost here, though. Anyone else going to come down in a vehicle? It doesn't look like it. Okay, no worries then. Shout out to Clark for dropping a like on the stream. Thank you, buddy. Shout out as well to Ronan. Thank you. Just waiting for some more technicals to show up. So there's three here right now. I want someone to come down with a slightly different one. We can always just go in and customize mine again and remove it and just give it a give it a test. Oh, is that one there? There we go, there's Bot Height. He's got the standard uh, turret on it. Let me go ahead and just hop onto the back of that one. I like his wheels. The wheels are very cool. Alright, I want to use that car by there as a... Uh, a test and so it's just blown it up. Nice. Uh, okay, I want to get someone to get a, a random car for us to use. Uh, can someone go and get two random cars from the road? There we go. If they go get some random cars for us, bring them back and we can just shoot them and see whether the minigun or the standard turret is the better turret to have. Obviously the minigun turret will cost you 100,000 to upgrade, so You'd imagine the minigun is going to be better, but who knows? Maybe they're, they're the same. Someone just destroyed my personal vehicle. Just destroyed my technical. Oh my god. Okay, can someone go and get some vehicles? I'm pretty sure no one's actually going. They might be. Maybe not, though. There's two guys on the road right now, so hopefully they're going to go get some, some vehicles for us. Otherwise, I'll go there myself and do it. Maybe it's very, faster if we just drive down there. I won't lie. Okay, is this the vehicle coming? It is. It's a random vehicle. Person, the Azir. Stay there. Sweet. I'm going to shoot this one then. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's already on fire after about 15. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 bullets. I'm pretty sure the caliber on this weapon is a lot higher than the other one, the minigun. Uh, so it might take less bullets, but with it having a faster firing rate, it would probably take it out much, much faster than this gun would. By the way, guys, we have just smashed 500 likes as well. Thank you guys so much. But of course, the goal for this stream is 1,000. So if you guys haven't dropped a like, don't forget to do so. I comment hashtag like in the chat as well. Once you have, I'll give you guys a shout out. For example, TJ Ennis just dropped a like. So thank you, buddy. Right, now I need the other uh, minigun turret. Someone destroyed my vehicle, so we can't use mine. Let me quickly just call uh, Moore's Mutual so we can quickly uh, get another one spawned in. Very, very fast. Come on. Moore's Mutual, how can I be of service? There it is, no charge. We might as well claim all of them. Sure. Sweet. Although, this guy has got... Yeah, he's got the minigun turret. So I might as well just use his rather than go and get mine. Everyone needs to move. That was three or four. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, I was finding two bullets at a time. So probably in about 22 right now. 23, 24, 25, 26. Whoa! That just blew up. Was that me? If that is, that was about 26 bullets or so. Maybe slightly more because it was firing two. But it was definitely less. And certainly less time as well than the standard turret. So the minigun turret then, the minigun upgrade turret is better. It's got a faster firing rate. We've confirmed that. Fly doing that. Uh, can you just shoot me please? So I can go back to my... Uh, get my personal vehicle. Oh. <laughs> he just got run over I think. <laughs> God damn it. Whenever you want to die, someone tries to save you. Shout out to Yurik by the way for dropping a like on the stream. And Ninja Boys as well. And Adrian who commented hashtag liked. Thank you buddy. Right, let's respawn. And get... Another one spawned in. Okay, so if you guys have any more tests, let me know in the chats. So we've checked out the armor, and it looks like the armor does pretty much nothing, unfortunately. Uh, the minigun turret is better than the standard turret, so definitely upgrade that one. It is expensive, though, 100,000, plus, of course, the uh, the research as well. Oh, that guy just spawned right next to me. He's not a modder, I know that. It's very, very weird to spawn directly next to someone like that. Uh, oh, it's already, is it already spawned in? No, we'll call my mechanic and get it requested. Someone said, go for a speed test. That's pretty pointless, right? A speed test with the uh, technical. It's a pretty slow vehicle. Let's call in this one here. The technical custom. There is one thing, though, that someone mentioned earlier on. Apparently, if you use the turret and you fire backwards, it makes the vehicle faster when traveling forward. So a bit like with the, uh, the temper, so I'm sure you guys may remember, if you aim it backwards while someone's driving you forwards and you shoot, it helps it like propel forward, it's faster. I'm not too sure how much faster, but I want to give that a try. So let me go and get myself my technical. And hopefully one of these guys can get themselves a technical as well. I will give it a try. I think right now there's just so much chaos going on down at the airports. This may not happen, but we'll see. Someone asked, is there a new adversary mode that was uh, Apfris? Is that how you say your name? I hope so. I don't think so, no. I'm not aware of any new adversary mode. If there is one, let me know. Oh, sorry. Uh, actually, no. If you get your, uh, bring, wait, uh, bring your, oops, well, bring your, bring your technical. Hopefully he's gonna go get it for me. There we go. Come in airport. So hopefully he can go and help me out now with this, uh, this drag race I wanna do, and see if that theory is right, where when we drive forward and someone uses the minigun, uh, to shoot forward, whether that actually works or not. There we go. In the airport. Oops. Oh, there was a gate there. I didn't see that. <laughs> it's so dark right now, I didn't even see it. There we go. Right, let's go and uh, line us up on the uh, the runway. So we can go and give this a try. Someone asked, is the Insurgent faster? Well, unfortunately, we haven't got the Insurgent custom just yet. It hasn't been released, so we can't really do a full test on that just yet. I'm guessing this is faster though than the standard Insurgent. Simply because it's lighter. Alright. If he drives, I'm going to go on the turret on the back. Uh, drag race time. Someone throw a grenade. There we go. I'm going to fire backwards as soon as we begin. That's the, the plan. Hopefully they can hear me anyway. Uh, someone's going to throw... There we go. Any second. Is he going to throw his grenade? No, no one's going to throw it. <laughs> I think we're waiting for Zilda to right now to throw his grenade. There we go. He's just thrown it. Right. We're going to fire as soon as it, uh, we start moving forward. Wait. Is there no one driving? Oh my god. There's no one driving it. Uh, oh my god. Someone... Drive my car. I suppose someone was in the driver's seat. They must have just gotten out. I didn't see that. <laughs> That's embarrassing. No one's driving, and there's a, a cargo bob in the way. Uh, Zeal. Oh, there we go. Black Bunny is going to drive it. Uh, move the cargo bob. Oh my god, there's chaos going on right now. Okay, we're going to wait for Zeal to move. 
Oh wait, he can't drive it. Oh, that's why. That's why. The vehicle is set to... There we go. That's why no one was driving. It was set to passengers only. <laughs> that would make sense. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, a little bit slow today. Sweet. So someone can drive for me. And as soon as Zildoza throws the grenade, we can begin. He's going to throw it. Then we're going to fire backwards and see if this theory works. Go, 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 go. Shoot down straight like this. I've no idea where the other people are just yet. I see on the mini-map they are slightly in front though, so maybe this is not actually working. Should we go into the cinematic mode? Oh, we can't do that. I don't think it's making any difference. Wait, I think we're just catching up on the guy, the blue guy? It doesn't seem like it's making any difference, guys. Unless we got off to a bad start. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Unless we need the... Let's try the standard turret. This one right here. This guy has got one. I'll quickly call up uh, Lester as well to lose my water devil. Lester, quick. Before I die. Ring, 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 ring. Go, 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 go. There we go, right. So we'll try with bot height driving the standard one and see if shooting the turret backwards does anything. This is just a theory, by the way, guys, so who knows. Hello to Postal Black in the chat right now. He said, what's good? It's uh, been a while since I last saw you, but then I haven't been live streaming for a while. I've been super, super busy. Oh my god, now I think Baha just died. No, run, before we die. Let's just hide behind these cars. Oh, wait, no, he's not driving. That's why. Let me just shoot some of these cops. Someone throw a grenade! Someone please throw before we die. We're almost all gone. We've already got a four-star water level. What? Bot hike, call the police. I uh, call Lester. Oh, I died! No! Okay, I think it's safe to say this is all gone. This is all gone very wrong. Where's my car? Let me just request my vehicle. I think they're driving it right now. I'm just going to steal it from them. Uh, vehicle. Empty personal vehicle. There we go. Empty, empty, empty. And then request personal vehicle. There we go. It should come to me in a few moments. Sweet. Uh, someone said, go in a first person and see if it changes the speed. I'm pretty sure by going in a first person, it doesn't make any difference to your top speed, but I could be wrong. That's a nice theory. My technical is just around the corner. Postal said he's been working. What have I been up to? I've been away, man. I've been away uh, to... Well, initially I went to LA. That was uh, last month. And I went to Mallorca. If you guys follow me on Instagram, there's a link in the description, by the way. Uh, you'll know that I went to Mallorca for a few days, which was extremely nice. But it's... Uh, someone just put a sticky bomb on my car, I think. When, oh, it's a proximity mine. There it is. Yeah, I went to Mallorca, which is an amazing place. I'm sure you guys have heard of Mallorca. It's uh, an island just off the coast of Spain. And it was just so pretty. So, so nice. But yeah, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go ahead and do so. Because uh, you should. I, I post stuff on there every now and again when I go outside, which isn't very often. But I sometimes go outside. Alright then, guys. Well, with that being said, I'm pretty sure that's it for this live stream. I'm not too sure what else there is to really show off. I wanted to do a few more little tests, but... Uh, there's so much chaos right now down at the airport. Uh, or should I say, it's pretty chaotic down there. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap things up with a few shout-outs. So if you guys want a shout-out, drop a like on the stream right now. Comment anything in the chat just so I can see your name. And I will read out your name as well. Uh, oops, my bad. I was reading the chat. Not, uh, <laughs> not the game itself. Not looking at the game. Someone asked me to go in first person, so we'll do that for a bit. But yes, let's do some shoutouts then, so if you guys want one, like I said, drop a like, comment, and uh, we'll get straight into things. Uh, before we get into that though, just one final thing. So this vehicle, the technical custom, is now available from today in GTA Online. Available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. To get this, you have to buy the technical if you haven't already from the Warsaw Cash and Carry website. Then you take it down to your mobile operation center where you can then upgrade it to the technical version, or the technical custom version, and then you can upgrade it. Uh, there are various upgrades you'll have to unlock though via research. You can of course fast track those if you want to. Uh, overall, if you buy and upgrade the car, it will cost you 1.5 million. And of course the four upgrades to fast track will cost you about a million dollars or so. So 
just under $3 million or so, like I said earlier on, to buy and fully upgrade and do all the research for this vehicle. And hopefully that's just recapped everything for those people who've just tuned in and haven't seen everything throughout this live stream. But, yeah. With that being said, then let's do some shoutouts. So, shout out to Gaming of Everything for dropping a like in the stream. Thank you. Shout out to uh, the boss, the chef. Shout out to Phone Tech. Shout out to uh, Ethereal. Shout out to Source. Shout out to Galaxy, of course, who also donated earlier on. Thank you so much. Shout out to Jamie. Shout out to uh, Yuri. Shout out to Sniper. Shout out to TJ Gaming. Shout out to Elias. Shout out to Dylan. Shout out to Sniper. Shout out to Nolan. Shout out to Noel. Shout out to Shark. Shout out to uh, Tahila. Shout out to Project. Shout out to. Uh, Particle, shout out to Chirag, shout out to Postal Bike, shout out to What's Up, shout out to Star, shout out to Owen, shout out to Steven, shout out to Paul, shout out to Chaotic, nice name buddy, uh, shout out to John, shout out to uh, Pauls, shout out to Electric, shout out to Ashley, shout out to Jake, shout out to Theodore, shout out to Prince, shout out to Armin, shout out to Kim, shout out to Vincent, shout out to Ashley, shout out to Glow, shout out to Zildo, who I'm crashing into right now, how buddy? Uh, shout out to uh, Preston, shout out to Source of God, shout out to V Gaming, shout out to Electric, shout out to uh, Terminator, shout out to Get Owned, shout out to Callum, shout out to Paul again, shout out to Star, shout out to Frosty, shout out to uh, Jaisal, as I say your name, or Jaisal, shout out to Epic, shout out to uh, Memes, shout out to some Arabic, I can't read Arabic, so just that person in the chat who's Got an Arabic name. Shout out to Tahila again. Shout out to Diego. Shout out to uh, Islam. Shout out to Real Trill. Shout out to SL55. Shout out to Valentin. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to Echo. Shout out to Anonymous. Shout out to Second Player. Shout out to Harry. Shout out to Kat. Shout out to Diego again. Shout out to Versus. Shout out to Cat Meow Products. Oops. Shout out to Steven, and the final shout out goes to, shout out to Hazmat. There we go. So with that being said then guys, that's pretty much it then for this live stream, and hopefully everybody's had a shout out. Apologies if you haven't, uh, but don't worry, I am officially back from holiday, the numerous different trips I've been on, and I'm hoping to now uh, upload every day, and live stream most days as well. So if you guys haven't had a shout out, don't worry, I will make sure you guys get one in my next live stream, if you of course tune in. So with that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't dropped the like, please do so. Of course, comment your thoughts about the technical custom. Do you guys like it? Have you bought one? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know by leaving a comment. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do to help me out on the road to 1 million subscribers. We are just 13,000 away, which hopefully we can smash by the end of this month. We'll see. And when we get there, I've got something pretty big to, uh, to share with you guys. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now. So yes, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys now later on in my next video or live stream. I love you all. Have a fantastic day.